Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Star Stable episode. Um, in this episode, we are at the Midsummer Festival with our lovely magic horse, Morning Flower. So I decided, so her last tax set was the Valentine's Day set. So I've decided I want to get her something that's more suited towards her, not necessarily suited towards a holiday. So I looked in the shop over here, and oh my gosh, I found a set that I think would really fit her. Um, they have a Sakura set. And since she is a magic horse based off of um, the cherry blossoms, the cherry blossom tree, hold on. Yeah, see? She's got those cherry blossom petals and all that all down her back and in her mane. So I've decided I think it would be really cute if we put a, um, if we put the Sakura set on her. So let's do that. Okay. I like though that you can only buy these with star coins. So we've got that. Sakura. Or should, should we mix and match between the sweet cream? Let's just do the whole Sakura set. And then if I decide, hey, I want to um, mix and match, we can mix and match. Just buying the whole set because I have the money. Cry. And then I also want to buy all these wreaths. Because I think those would be really cute too. What is that tail decoration for? Just a tail ribbon. Okay, so they don't have Sakura leg wraps. But I don't know if the sweet cream leg wraps would work with her. But I'm still going to buy them anyway. I had to read that because I wasn't sure what it was saying. Then the Sakura summer bag. Bye. Okay. So, let's bring her over here. And let's try on the Sakura set. So here's the saddle pad. The saddle. The bridle. The bag. <laughs> Megan's being rude. No, you! <laughs> You said it looks weird. Gur, gur. I think it actually matches her. Let me see. Let me do it. It blends see. in. The tack blends in. Well, I don't care. She's wearing this set. Why is there blue in it? No, the blue is a different type of leg wrap. So I'm gonna see if they have if there's pink leg wraps I can buy. Yeah, I didn't think that the. Periwinkle leg wraps would work. It doesn't work with that set. So. Try boots. Eh, no. However, I will buy boots for my um, jumping horse. So let's buy Midsummer Bloom. Yeah, no, the boots do not fit her. No. Oh, yeah, black seeds were Okay. So does Ember. Anyway, um, ooh, the Sakura summer dress looks so pretty. I'm about to go broke. Ooh, so does this periwinkle set thing. I like this shirt. I love the, the dusty trailblazer. I love that. That actually looks really nice. So I think I'm going to buy this shirt. No, no, I'm not going to buy that shirt. I'm going to buy this. Just going on a nice shopping spree, expanding my wardrobe. Scream. I'm about to be broke on star coins. It's the same though. Should I be shorts? Or should I buy long pants? Shorts look wonky. They do. They do kind of look wonky. Why are the legs black? 
Because it's like shorts with stockings. No. Don't want. Come Those on. are... I don't think I like any of these pants. Or actually, this, these pants might work. Yeah, the dusty trail browser. The trousers. What the? And then... I think we're going to stick with the boots. Okay, so let me change how my character looks. Oh, I love that! That looks so nice! Okay. So then... Because she needs something on her head, right? Right? I think so. And I need a wreath on my head. Ooh, okay, which one are we going to do? I mean, I don't care. I'm buying all of them, but, you know. Okay, so I bought all of the ones for me, and now to buy the ones for the horse. For Pretty Morning Flower. And then I think if we have time at the end of this episode, I kind of want to go through all my horses and give them all wreaths on their head. The little flower crowns. Okay, there we go. Ooh. These look pretty. Do I want to spend even more star coins? Yes, yes, I do. So, I bought literally everything from here. Okay. Let's see. What wreath should go on her head? I want one that kind of matches. I liked... Which one is it? This one. I really like that one. That's cute. And so I'm the match. Okay, so we've got our um, set. This person's following me. I wonder if they want to take a picture. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna really quickly talk to the ranger. Ranger Marisol. Midsummer is when we celebrate the long days of summer with family and friends. The festival is beloved throughout Northern Europe, but is nowhere is it more popular than here in Jorvik. This year's Midsummer celebration is being organized by the Jorvik Rangers, and it's set to be the Jorvik's biggest. And it's set to be Jorvik's biggest yet. We're almost set up, but there are a few more tasks left. Do you think you and your horse could help out? Yes. That's the spirit. There are three stations where my colleagues can use our, your assistance. S Stanislav is in charge of raising the midsummer pole. Our fire safety expert, Ashley, is in charge of the bonfire. Finally, I put Dylan in charge of setting up the banquet tables. With your help, the party will begin in no time. Okay, so let's head out. Let's start, I think, with Ranger Dylan. Oh, great. You must be the volunteer, Marisol promised me. I'm in charge of the Midsummer Banquet. There's going to be salmon from South Hoof, herring from Cape West, potatoes from Steve's, and fresh berries from Mistfall. I can't wait to f stuff my face. Not that I would touch anything until the guests are finished. Haha. <laughs> In any case, before we can set out the food, someone needs to set up the tables and chairs. You'll help with that, won't you? Thomas Moreland was kind enough to offer up some folding chairs and tables from a stable. He should have set them out, so all you need to do is ride down with your horse and pick them up. Okay. Yep, we gotta head down to Moreland. Mm -hmm. 
I honestly like this tack set on her. We almost, we did pass it. Okay, so we've got one. So let's see about getting the other and then we'll head back. I'm doing the Midsummer Festival, Megan. Yummy! Yes, I'm surprised that these boxes aren't falling off. So maybe we should just trot our way up there. So yeah, it has been a while since um, <laughs> since I have recorded Star Stable and actually done a gameplay episode. I do have a schedule now for uploading and recording and such. So hopefully I'll be able to stick to this stick to the schedule. But we shall see. <sighs> Ooh. Who's who are you? <laughs> I love how morning flower trots. She's so pretty. I'm thinking about doing a music video with her. But I'm not going to elaborate any further than that. Any further than wanting to do a music video with her. Because I have to figure everything out for that. I kind of have the song figured out. But yeah, you'll, you'll see if I decide to do it. We're almost there. <laughs> I love how... In her normal coat, her mane and her tail are kind of dark colored. However, in her magic coat, they're very light colored. Okay, and then we set down the boxes. Nice work with the tables and chairs. Remind me to thank Thomas later. He's been so helpful with the festivities this year. Said something about making sure the girls who came to his writing camp see Jorvik, as, see Jorvik at its best. Speaking of Jorvik's best, let's go get that banquet set up. It looks really nice. My house is all over there. Okay. A movable feast or a good party is a loud party. Let's just grab both. James at Fort Pinta is generously sponsoring the food for the banquet. He just sent me a text saying that everything is ready for pickup, so maybe you could ride down to Fort Pinta and pick it up. It should be waiting for you next to the disco. Okay. We're expecting a big turnout at this year's party. It's going to be rough to... <laughs> rough. It's going to be tough to hear the music over everyone laughing and having fun. A good party is a loud party, am I right? I want people to feel the uns, uns, uns in their bones. Fortunately, James also offered to let us borrow speakers from the Fort Pinta Disco for use at the midsummer stage. Think you could pick those up as well? Sure. Okay, let's go grab those. What the? <laughs> Like how it's up here now. <laughs> I didn't realize it would do that. I thought it would just automatically make me mount it, her, but that makes sense. We. We. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I watch miraculous tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, and one of the new episodes. Not really any spoilers here, it's just, I'm just saying, Cat Noir goes wee. <laughs> it just cracks me up every time. That's all I gotta say. But, wee! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love 
how my outfit kind of fits. Kind of. <laughs> I think um, at one at some point I want to do an episode. Wait a minute, is this this is what? So this whole okay. That's honestly ah why? So okay. So in Star Stable Horses, they also have the Ember Mane. So I, was, I had thought that the Ember Mane in Star Stable Horses was, you know, it's a new Yorvik Wild Horse coat. I hadn't realized it was actually already in Fort Pinta. Anyways, let's head to the disco. And then we go and grab everything. So we've got the food and beverages, now we have to go get the speakers. Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine if we canter. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure they won't fall off. That's awesome. So yes, I'm having Morning Flower in her um, magical form in the spirit of the Midsummer Festival. You doing okay, Morning Flower? <laughs> I also love that both in her um, magic coat and in her normal coat, it looks like she has some brindle markings. You know what? Get up all the way! <laughs> Could you imagine if it was like, all the boxes have now fallen off. You must go back to the start and get them back. That would be hilarious. Ooh, I want to look at some of these horses. I cannot afford any of these horses, but I want to look. They're all so pretty. All so pretty. I don't know. So, I... Okay. That's a thing. Um, so I kind of want to, um... I kind of want to buy a Frisian. But I don't know if I want one of the, um... So I might save up my star coins... Ha! 638 star coins. That's how much I have left. Um, but I might save up my star coins. And I might start off buying one of the Gen 2 free gens. And then I'll buy one of the Gen 3 ones. And I'll just have two free gens in my stable. So, yeah. Okay, let's let's just plop everything here. Perfect. So now. now we're ready to pump up the volume. This midsummer party is going to be off the chain. Smells so good. I could eat the banquet myself. Okay, okay, I'll wait till everyone else has had some first. Oh, that does look good. There's some watermelon, there's some sandwiches, there's some water, there's some cake, pastries, hamburgers, hot dogs. Are those hot dogs or are those just sandwiches? I don't know. Ooh, there's cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh, that all looks so good. My favorite thing about Midsummer Parties growing up was the way they brought the whole community together. That's why this year we're inviting people you might have met from all around Yorvik to share in the festivities. Who knows, you might even see some new faces as well. I prepped the invitations while you were setting up the banquet. Now we just need to drop them in the mailbox. Would you mind dropping them off for me? Sure. Oh, I know exactly where the mailbox is. Right there. such a pretty quarter horse that is absolutely gorgeous that is a quarter horse right gray flash 
It is a quarter horse. Oh, that's cute. Breed, crossbreed, breed. Okay, then. I want to look more into that because I'm like, what? There's crossbreed things? Okay. Oh, and I just... Look at that quarter horse over there. That's very pretty. The tables and chairs. Check. Food. Check. Unce, unce, unce. Check. <laughs> Everything's covered on my end. Thanks for your help, Sandy. All right, let's head on out and help some other. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that. Their outfits are so cute and they match their horses so well. Okay, let's head on over here and do the bonfire. Ranger Ashley. Every Midsummer Festival needs a bonfire to keep the party going into the night. So we should just gather up some logs, douse them with lighter fluid, and get our flame on, right? Wrong. Fire is not something we rangers take lightly. One spark is all it takes to turn a forest into cinders. That's why this year we're doing things my way. The safe way. I already picked out the site for the bonfire, 18 meters from any trees or buildings. Now we need some kindling to serve as the foundation for the fire. Old Jasper offered up some spare lumber that he's been storing by the farmhouse over yonder. That should do nicely. Could you and Morningflower help bring it up here? You'll use proper lifting technique getting these logs onto your horse, right? Of course you will. We're sisters in safety. Okay, let's go get the logs. And then we run back. This is totally safe. <laughs> Perfect. Our bonfire is off to a great start. And as a bonus, we took care of a fire hazard at Jasper's farmhouse. A double win for safety. Oh, that looks nice. We need more fuel to make this fire blazes long into the night. <laughs> to make sure, make this fire blazes long. To make sure this fire blazes long into the night. And I know just where to find it. There's a GED construction site nearby with plenty of good lumber. You and Morningflower are going to take it. Stealing? No way. The Yorvik Rangers are government servants. I'm simply commandeering that lumber for the public good. Trust me, it'll be fine. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, so we just go over here. Yes, let's go grab all the lumber they have. It's funny how she's like, no, no, it can't be stealing. Ooh, there's trash. There's more trash. <sighs> the logs go bouncy bounce. I don't know if it's a good thing that they're occasionally jumping up and that they're not actually sitting on the back of the horse. They're just kind of floating. <laughs> okay. So, and then over here. Whee! Alrighty. Let's head on back. Doing! I won. I'm sorry. That should be enough wood to get us started. I'm pretty sure Kima from Mistfall will be bringing more wood later from the trails she cleared. Okay, this party is about to heat up. I 
I assume I get to do the honors again. Time to get this baby burning. Normally I would insist on lighting it myself for maximum safety, but considering how much you helped, perhaps you'd like the honor? Yes, please. Why is it sticking out of my... What? That's a thing. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, burn, burn, burn! <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Um, good job with the fire. Very safe. <laughs> yes. It's very nice looking. Ooh, I've got 25 minutes left on my banana bread! I'm baking banana bread, and it's in the oven right now while I'm recording, so... Yeah. You can't celebrate Midsummer without a Midsummer pole. It needs to be tall enough to be seen from far away, but also wide and strong enough to last through weeks of partiers dancing round and round. It so happens there's a perfect pole just on the way by Jasper's farmhouse. I checked with the owner and he says we're more than welcome to take it. It's too heavy for me to carry, but I see you have a good strong horse. Maybe the two of you could fetch the pole up here? Let's go get. Oh, okay. Let's head on over to the farmhouse and get the pole. Whee! Oh, that is a giant. How? This is. <laughs> oh no! I just donked someone with the pole. This is totally safe. Perfect. Now we need just need to decorate it. Flowers for color. A proper midsummer pole is decorated with wildflowers to showcase the beauty of summer. I don't think Thomas Moreland would mind if you picked some flowers from the woods nearby. Why don't you and your horse go and pick a good mix of blooms? Once you've wrapped the leaves around the pole, you can use those flowers to decorate it. Let's get the leaves. We wrap the midsummer pole in fresh green leaves to celebrate the season. There are plenty of branches in the woods between here and Moreland stables. We'll need a lot of leaves, so take your horse and gather as many as the two of you can carry. get the stuff. Whee! Oh, that was a horrible idea. I didn't realize it was that steep. That's probably not a good idea to do. Okay, let's just go around. Do, 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 do. Let's gather all of these. Ooh, that's a pretty leaf. That's a pretty bundle of leaves. Let's gather some flowers. Ooh. Is it not going to spread out over the horse's back like it used to? It used to like spread out all down the horse's back and it looked really pretty. I mean this looks really pretty too, I'm just saying. It was really beautiful when it spread down the horse's back. Ah. Uh. But I do love the um, textures and all that of the flowers and the leaves together. A 
Okay, we got everything we needed, so let's head back. leaves and flowers. Leaves for the pole. The pole is looking great. Now it's time to decorate. That's a lot of leaves on that pole and it looks beautiful. Wonderful. This will be the most impressive midsummer pole yet. It would be really cool if um, it was like, I don't know if this is possible, because, like, you know, um, but it'd be really cool if, like, you could get, like, different types of midsummer poles, like, where, um, so if you were to collect a whole bunch of this type of flower, then the pole would be mostly that color with the flowers. It would be, it would be cool if it was, like, different and from player to player. That would be really cool, but I love it. It's so pretty. The midsummer pole is looking great, but I can't help but feel as if it's missing something. I know, flower wreaths. Flower wreaths are the final touch for our pole needs to celebrate the traditional way. It so happens I set up a workstation for guests to make their own flower crowns. You could use that to assemble larger wreaths as well. Head on over to the flower crown workstation and make four, four wreaths for our pole. Okay. Let's go make the wreaths. Two, three, four. Okay, and now we run all the way back and plop the wreaths. There we go. Ooh, those are pretty. Splendid, let's place them. Oh, that's looking wonderful. There's only one thing left to do. It's time to raise the pole. We'll do it together, on my mark. Three, two. That's pretty. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Just look at that. The finest midsummer pole in all of Jorvik and a perfect setting for the frog dance. You remember the moves, right? I- oh my gosh. What's the difference between two and three? I don't know, but okay. That's awesome, that's cool. Okay, and then- ooh. Hmm. I think we have just enough time to go ahead Oh, we have to talk to her again, I think. Before we break out the sparkling juice, there's one last little detail that will make this midsummer for Jorvik. Uh, th they'll make this a midsummer for Jorvik to remember. Can you guess? That's right. Someone has to place the your the the Jorvigan flag at the top of the midsummer pole. You outdid yourself volunteering, which is why we think the honor of raising the flag should go to you. Here you are. Go ahead and climb up there, Sandy. You can do it. Let's head on over and put the flag on the pole. Whee! I might have to be dismounted to do this, but who knows. Yep, I dismount automatically though, because, you know, it makes sense. Do creepy creep too. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna head over here. And... <laughs> Ember! It's just somebody cutting something. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Sniffle, I always tear up a little when I see the your vegan flag wave. Even if you're not from Yorvik, any young lady with a love for horses can call Yorvik home. We are all family here, and that's why this is going to be the best Midsummer Festival ever. Now let's start the music and break out the banquet. Let the Midsummer Festival begin. That's cute. I actually think that's all we're going to have time for this episode. Next episode, we can place the wreaths on the horses' heads. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone!